All right, good Saturday morning, everybody. Live and direct on Periscope and Inst Periscope and Twitter, at least. We'll be going to Instagram coming up here in just a little while. Hopefully, you've had a great weekend so far. Things are very quiet in the Mid-South area, so we're not seeing, again, too much of anything to worry about just yet. But as we get into the rest of the day today, we could be seeing the possibility of a few more showers and thunderstorms out there. It doesn't really look like much at this time, but again, we could be seeing the possibility for some more problems, outdoor activity. These are going to have to watch out for that, and that's going to be something that we're going to need to watch out for throughout the rest of the day today, so please keep an eye on that. If you have any outdoor plans, golf course, uh, heading out for a stroll or a jog, going out to the grocery store, or taking the kids to the park, whatever, that is where you're going to be seeing the worst possible problems out there for later on. It's not great chances of rainfall, but again, we could be looking for some more possible problems out there, so just keep that in mind and keep an eye on News Channel 3. We'll keep you updated as to what's going on out there. We see again the possibility of most of what we're going to be looking at into around the rest of the day today as just isolated showers and thunderstorms. More updates on your forecast in the blue bar located right here. And if you'd like to see more about what's going on in the Mid-South area, all you have to do is go to this website right here at www.wreg.com. And that's going to be the main thing that you're going to be wanting to look out for for the rest of the day today. This is going to be a pretty quiet weekend. This is the last full weekend of summertime. So again, Again, this is going to be something to get out and enjoy. Uh, no problems at all being seen across much of the Mid-South for the most part, but there could be, again, uh, that potential problem out there for where we see, again, uh, mostly clear skies early on, but more chances of rainfall as we get into the course of the rest of the day today. So that could be a bit of a problem, again, with outdoor activities. So please keep that in mind uh, for the rest of the weekend. This is going to be, again, uh, some pretty quiet stuff for right now, but much of what we're looking at for right now is, again, just that pretty well good state of affairs out there. Uh, for right now, at least in the rest of the Mid-South for the rest of the weekend. If you've got any questions, again, the email address at the top of your screen. Welcoming in our Instagram viewers for right now, and thanks to everybody for joining us on our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. We are live from downtown Memphis early on Saturday, well, mid-Saturday morning, somewhere in there. So if you have any questions about the forecast, please drop them into the comments section. We'd love to have you along for the ride. Currently, again, uh, not much to talk about. Things are very quiet in the area. Uh, taking a look at a couple of our weather bug cameras again, much of what we're seeing for right now is pretty quiet. We do have a few clouds out there in and around the St. Francis camp. This camera looking off to the northwest uh, across Germantown Parkway and just to the south of I-40 if you've never been there before. I was there for the eclipse a few weeks ago and again not much of a breeze showing up either. The flagpole Old Glory out there right between the church school property and Germantown Parkway not waving around by too much. Camera from Germantown City Hall cam on top of the water tower north of Germantown Parkway. Things are decently quiet here. Not much of a breeze, a little hazy off in the distance. You can barely see the Clark Towers area. Poplar Pike and Germantown Parkway a little farther south than the St. Francis cam. Looking pretty good. More of our weather bug cameras go to this address, wreg.com slash webcams, or you can get there by going to this address and going up into the comments section or the, the main uh, selection area, the main menu bar there. Currently in the Mid-South, again, little if anything showing up in the way of precipitation. You can catch Storm Tracker 3S on New News Channel 3 a little bit later on, but just not seeing anything in the way of precipitation for now. Later on today could be the possibility of even more showers and thunderstorms popping up of a mainly scattered nature. There's just not that much expected throughout the course of the rest of the weekend. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what's going on around the Mid-South area. We've got, again, temperatures out there pretty mild back in the mid to upper 70s for the most part. Just not seeing a lot of very warm weather just yet. A few mid to upper 60s as well, and winds either calm or out of the southeast and should continue that way. Tropics at this time, a lot of problems out into the Atlantic as Jose remains a Category 1 hurricane and may affect the East Coast states. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Tropical Depression number 14 winds at this time about 35 miles per hour. This could become Tropical Storm Lee into very early 
in the rest of the next couple of days. This one, again, not expected to be a problem. Could become a tropical storm, then expected to diminish. This one, on the other hand, is the one that is going to have to be watched very carefully. It's an area of investigation. It's labeled 96L. Uh, this one at this time shows a very high percentage of development. So this one just off of South America could be looking at the possibility of some more development as it goes very close to Irma's track over the last couple of days. So this is something that really bears watching. And again, this could be affecting the Leeward Islands in the course of about the next 48 hours or so. And this one could become our next storm system as we get into the next couple of days. Now, whether or not it follows the same track as Irma, a little bit too early to tell at this time, but we will be watching this very, very carefully. Jose, hurricane and expected to drop to tropical storm status the farther north it goes, but it could, in this forecast area, brush very close to around Long Island, Massachusetts into around New England. It could also curve off a little farther to the east between the east coast and Bermuda, but the main thing about this, two of them actually, number one, as the circulation pattern around this remains counterclockwise, this could drive a lot of moisture onshore to the United States. If that happens, it could be very rainy between D.C., New York, Baltimore, up into the Canadian Maritimes. This also will bring a lot of riptide currents from the east coast away as that water gets drawn toward Jose. That's a very big area of low pressure and the water is stacking up underneath that because there's less air pressure which is typical for a hurricane. That's not anything the way of a magical or uh, out of the ordinary situation for these things. But it may bring a lot of moisture and water going away from the East Coast states, and that means riptides, and that means it could be a little dangerous if you're planning on swimming or boating anywhere around the East Coast anytime soon. So please keep that in mind. Here in the Mid-South, there's really much less of anything going on. There was some patchy fog around the area this morning. Beyond that, there's really just nothing not much happening at this time. Over the next few days, again, Jose curves its way back up toward the East Coast states. We've got a lot of very warm air and a front that tries to make its way into the area. Half-hearted attempt, doesn't really get all that close at this point in time, but does a very good job of giving some more chances of showers and thunderstorms as we get into next week. Haphazard chances of showers and thunderstorms and some very good news for the West Coast, a new cold front coming on through, which could give them some much needed relief uh, from the fires and the smoke out that direction. So good news on that. Rest of the weekend, again, high temperatures looking pretty mild today back in the mid to upper 80s. Low temperatures tonight in the mid to upper 60s to the lower 70s and high temperatures for Sunday. Once again, going back into the mid to upper 80s. You can help with severe weather in the Mid-South area. The National Weather Service could use your help when it comes to spotting severe weather. Not chase teams, but with spotters. And if you'd like to know more about how you can become a Skywarn spotter, these places in the Mid-South, taught by the National Weather Service meteorologists and personnel, will be training the public uh, people who show up to volunteer their time to learn more about what to look for, what to report back to the National Weather Service, how these storms form, the science behind severe weather. It's all available here, and you can take these courses beginning in a couple weeks and continuing on through November. Nothing's showing up on here for the Memphis area, but you can take training online and maybe one coming up again in the near future, but mostly the one from Memphis is held in and around areas close to about March or around late February, early March in that area. So if you'd like to know more, drop by the National Weather Service. That's at weather.gov slash M-E-G for more details on that. You can check out more from my Facebook page as my nimble fingers rearrange everything on the page here. Facebook.com slash AustinOnic W-R-E-G-3. Uh, more information from my Twitter page at Twitter.com. You should be there already if you're uh, watching on Twitter. And thank you very much for tuning in. Twitter.com slash Aonic underscore WREG3, and also tons of information available on my Instagram page as well. So, a lot of great details showing up there. Want to check out the entire seven day forecast? That's available for you again at WREG.com slash weather, same website that you're seeing up here. Chances of rainfall minimal, but still possible. So, please keep that in mind over the next few days. If you're not near a computer or watching on TV, 
Glad to have you along on the radio. All you have to do is tune in to Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3, and we'll be glad to have you along for the ride there. We'll be back on AM 730, coming up bright and early on Monday morning with Bob and Josh. That'll wrap it up for this morning. Keeping an eye on the forecast with Weather Overtime. This is our exclusive video weather blog. If there's something on here that you would like to see that we haven't featured and you'd like us to talk about it, we talked about hurricanes, we talked about the wildfires out west, uh, we talked about the science of everything involving the eclipse and Cassini's demise over the last couple of days. Lots of science stuff to talk about. If there's something on here that you have not seen but want to see, let me know about it. Email me at that email address in the blue bar a little farther up there inside the phone graphic at austin.onic at wreg.com. Would love to have you along for the ride. If there's something on here that you would like to see, please let me know and we'd be glad to feature it as much as we possibly can. We'll keep you updated on the weather throughout the course of the rest of the weekend. So stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 on air and online. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for a quick weather update on Instagram, on Periscope, and Twitter. And stay tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend for more details on your forecast.